Greetings, witches and black swans and vampires. This is Father Sebastian, Master Fangsmith of the Sabretooth Clan, impresario of the Endless Night Vampire Ball, and author of Black Veils, Mysteries of Paris, and Strig of Eye. Today and tonight, I want to welcome you to my personal podcast, The Father Sebastian Experience. We have a very special musical guest who has played Endless Night 2020 at the, at the Globe Theater in downtown LA. And we have a very special announcement about the next show coming up. Without further ado, I want to introduce Jay Gordon of Orgy. How's it going, guys? Great to see you, buddy. How you doing? Good. I'm doing good, man. How you doing? Good. The last time I saw you was before the pandemic. True, right? Yeah. We, we, we did like the last show pre-pandemic, right? Yes. It was like literally a month before, and I was already social distancing. Yeah, me too, actually. But yeah. uh, we did we did that though. It was fun. Cool. It was great walking through. Do you know it's great walking through your 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 green room with all your fans and the, <laughs> the armada. That was fun. Did you have any? Did you have any secret celebrities back there? No, we just um, you, you know I no. My dad was there, so I, I, I generally <laughs> uh, yeah I de definitely uh, just hang with my my pops when he's in town. So. Cool. He's a great guy. Uh, but yeah, Blue, no, right? no, it was it was cool. There was there was there was a lot of people there. Yeah. Yeah, he was he was, he's a tall guy. Oh, there was there was actually I I, I think I think uh, wasn't like David Arquette back there or something like that. I think so. I I, think, I just I, heard rumors. I was up in the I opera box hanging out. Right. So, so what, like, I mean, you you're you guys are a vampire icon on the world's like most famous vampire rock album, The Queen of the Damned. Okay, and yeah. how did how did Orgy start? Where did you guys come from? Uh, I mean, I, I was born in San Francisco, but uh, you know, um, you know, I was living down here and kind of just put together a band. You know, just um, uh, put together a band with uh, a couple of friends, and then we kind of Josh Abraham and I just kind of started working on tracks in his garage, and then uh, you know, met the Corn guys, and um, you know. The rest is kind of history from there. They signed us and um, to Warner Reprise, and then we just kind of went went from there. Okay, so what? Where did you get the name? Oh, God, I, I think uh, Meigs from Cold Chamber and I were like sitting in my living room, and like literally one of those nine seven six OG commercials came on, and I was like, <laughs> "That's a perfect name," you know. And even though you know it, it, it wasn't really uh, you know relegated to sex or anything like that, I um, uh, just kind of it all ties in. You know what I mean? So, Did you have any controversy um, with the name? Sure. You know when, when don't when don't we actually? You know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, you just gotta you just gotta pick and choose your battles and uh, you know get it done. So that's awesome. So when um, what? Like, if, if you could name a show that was the most epic performance you've ever done so far, which was, what would that be? Mm, well, I mean, that, that Vampire Ball show was pretty good. Um, yeah, pretty cool. I, I'd say, I'd say, you know, that, that, that's definitely like top three. It was just surreal how cool the lights were and everything. Like, it all just came together at the last minute and it was boom. It was, it was really good. But, um, I'd say, I'd say the most, um, uh, you know, eye-opening performance thing was was at um, HF Festival in um, where was that in um, Baltimore, and uh, okay. it was it was like eighty-five thousand people. It was nuts. We went on at like a perfect time. You just recently played Dark Side of the Con. How'd that go? That was excellent too. That was that was cool. That was that was a really good show. Um, we had a lot of fun. Um, you know, we didn't bring like production or anything, so, but it, it wasn't quite, uh, it wasn't quite as epic as the Vampire Ball thing, but it was cool. Yeah, I was, I, I wanted to go, but I was stuck at work. <laughs> I do have a day job. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> my, you, you know my night job. And, 
you know, oh, one yeah. of the things, one of the things that is really, really connecting the, you know, my dream is to have the queen of the damn soundtrack played at the LA vampire ball on stage with all the mm -hmm. bands that performed. It's like my, my, yeah. my wet dream for the orgy. <laughs> and so it was, it was, <laughs> right uh, it was a bad joke. Um, so the, how did that come about? Like what, what occurred in that? Well, um, so there was some kind of like uh, contractual disputes with Corn, uh, you know, because Jonathan, you know, obviously is in Corn, and uh, they they just gotten a bunch of money from um, their label or whatever, and they even though Jonathan wrote those songs, they wouldn't him perform them. Um, they let, let him do it in the movie, couldn't do it on the soundtrack for some reason, so. Um, oh wow! So uh, yeah, so then he had to ask his friends, and and you know he asked me, and I was like, uh, hell yeah, because I love those songs. I I'd already had a copy of those songs long before the movie um, was being put together, and I always loved the Slept So Long track, and so I basically got first dibs on uh, you know because he signed us and everything, so I got first dibs on the song, and I was like that one. And I had no idea which ones were going to be in the movie or anything. And um, uh, yeah, we did that song, and uh, it ended up working out to where that was in the movie. So, so, uh, is you, was, so the so, your so voice basically was in he the just movie? no it, Jonathan's is in the movie, and then okay. mine is on the soundtrack and all, and the songs that you hear, you know, on Spotify or whatever. Okay. Because they they would o they would only let him do it for the movie. That's so freaking weird. Yeah. But uh, good for us. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Worked out you know, great. You know? One of the things that, you know, I, I did the top 10 vampire movies of all time um, mm -hmm. as a video back in 2013. And my first one was Interview with the Vampire. My second one was uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula. But, you, but that Queen of the Damned album was mm -hmm. the defining moment of vampire music it was yeah. it was it was incredible because the you know you have this r b star as the alia as the lead a lead actress and yeah. you had all this rock music so it was this really wonderful combination to show how vampire music is really a diverse thing and in my book yeah. black veils i talk about vampire music being a certain it, it creates an atmosphere and you guys all created an atmosphere that blew my mind right on that's cool so that that soundtrack <laughs> is the number one soundtrack that's played in all the vampire clubs around the world to Sick. this day i didn't i yeah. did not know that yeah that's oh cool. it, without a doubt it's 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 incredible it's like the um the the soundtrack itself is so it's rock it's classical it's like i mean when you hear those songs come on okay and then your voice comes in it, it's like i know that guy <laughs> i know that guy <laughs> and it's it's really incredible because there's so many people out there in the world that don't understand how a vampire club works and that soundtrack really defines it right on you know i'm glad, glad glad i could be a part of that you know i mean i really yeah. like the soundtrack too there's some really good songs from a lot, a lot of other artists on there too so yeah I, I really enjoy it absolutely i know uh jason miller from godhead and um i've met some of the other artists on there but it's 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 just it's when when that song comes on on and the crowd responds to the mu the movie we feel like we're yeah. actually reenacting the the stage show at, in Queen of the Damned. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, the the we 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 opened with it at uh, Vampire Ball, and uh, it was really it's it's kind of a strange song to open with because usually open with something faster or something like that. But mm -hmm. for some reason, it seemed to work really really well uh, at the Vampire Ball. So um, we were like, wow, that's cool. And uh, we, we've actually opened with that song a couple times since then, just because uh, it's cool works it worked really well so yeah. 
what um did you what did you do for the pandemic? Uh, just kind of well, what did we do? I went with uh, my, I took my kids to Arizona of all places uh, at first because I knew LA was gonna be locked down, you know, and Arizona just was kind of like you know just the wild west, and uh, I knew that they would be like you know late party for some reason, and so um, we went went there and it was awesome you know for the first um uh, like month you know we were there for we were there for like a month and um yeah it was cool i just played just video games with my kid and uh, or both kids actually to uh you know shot guns you know driving range just just did a bunch of like you know cowboy shit basically <laughs> so you know. uh, do you have family in arizona uh my son's grandparents live there Oh, cool. Yeah, I, I have yeah. never been to Arizona, believe it or not. I've never been no, there. Really? No, I've, yeah, I've always wanted missing, to go. Yeah, I'm missing a hell of a whole lot. But, I mean, it's cool. You know, it's like, uh, it's hot. It, it's hot. It, it's, 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 cool. it's so damn hot there. But, like, you know, there's a lot of uh, snowstorms. Not, I mean, sandstorms, snowstorms. There's a lot of sandstorms. And, um, you know, like, you'll be just chilling, you know, by a pool somewhere. And all of a sudden... It's like a big ass sandstorm just comes and it's, you know, it's crazy. Is it like Vegas? Yeah. Uh, kind of, but, but uh, I, I recall having the sandstorm thing happen um, in Vegas, but definitely yeah, in Arizona, sure. it's like a, it's like a thing. I forgot what they, they have there's some name for it, but I forget what name it is, but um, yeah, they have them all the time. That's awesome. So what is your greatest hit of all time? The greatest hit? Yeah. Hmm. Um, I mean, definitely, you know, Blue Monday because of the, uh, you know, just the cover thing um, that worked really well for us. But personally, I mean, you know, um, Stitches did really well as well. So, you yeah. know, no complaints there. Um, but yeah, probably Stitches, you know, as far as songs as I've written. But Blue Monday definitely got the ball rolling. All right. So we've covered a lot in our 15 minutes that we've talked. Okay. And I want to thank you. We, we have a special announcement to make, don't we? Yes, we do. I think that you're going to be playing Halloween in new Orleans. We are. We definitely are yes. and looking, looking forward to it. I've, uh, it, you know, it's kind of one of those bucket list things, you know, like Halloween, new Orleans. Hell yeah. Let's do it. So, uh, I'm pretty excited about that. And, um, should be cool. Well, you know what's yeah, also important? This is the first Halloween after Anne Rice passed away. Oh, true. Yeah. Yeah, she died that's, in, I think, November crazy. 20th last year. I can't remember the exact day. Yeah. But uh, yeah. we're going to, we're, the, the theme is Memento Immortalis. Remember you are mm. immortal. Hell yeah. And, and we're there to help Anne Rice. I'd like to, um, while you're in town, um, I'd like to take a little pilgrimage over to Metairie Cemetery and see her grave with you, if you would be open to I'm that. I'm down. I'm super down. Yeah, maybe we can bring some of the fans with us. Oh, yeah. That'd be great. That'd be great, yeah. So, Jay, where can people find you online? Uh, you know, orgymusic.com. They can find us on, um, you know, Instagram, Orgy Official, uh, Facebook, Orgy Official. Um, and that's that. Cool, man. Thank you so much for coming on the Father I mean, Sebastian Experience. You got it, buddy. Thanks for uh, having me on the show. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Rock and roll, bro. Look, looking forward to the show. Halloween, and, uh, baby. You know, Halloween. To... Yeah. Hell yeah. All right, guys. I'll see you soon. Take care, buddy. Okay. Thank you for watching. The best way to support us on this vampire adventure is through the crowdsource funding website, Patreon. Please support our sponsors, Endless Night, Vampire Ball, Sabretooth 3D Fangs, and Vampire Magazine. Thank you. Rock and roll.